All right, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office wants to let the borderland know a DWI can be given at any time of day. And I had the chance to speak with the Commander Patrol Division, Ryan Urrutia, about past DUI numbers and found out something surprising. Take a look. Just like 30 seconds on a watch, half a minute. One bad decision you under arrest for suspicion. can either lead to jail time or death. According to El Paso County Sheriff's Office records, men are more likely to get a DWI than women. Sheriff Urrutia says as of January 1st to June 30th this year, a total of 236 DWI's arrests have been made. We have arrested 36 females for the Montauk story. So it's, it's on a decline this year. For 2022, 315 men were arrested for driving while intoxicated, and the number of women arrested for DWI was at 82. For 2020, the pandemic year numbers were low. We do have some, so a few offenses for under the age of 21, and those have been very small. Uh, we really see a lot of individuals between that, you know, in the 25 to 35 age group, um, and then, you know, we get them all the way up to their 60s. Urrutia tells me while some can face a misdemeanor, there's a chance for a felony. Fence is, is uh, elevated for a point. 1.5 BAC level or higher. The more you drink, the higher the offense can be. Because a DWI in your record will eventually hurt convicted drivers in the long run. Increased insurance costs, uh, surcharges you'll have to pay to have your driver's license to the state of Texas. So it's not just being placed in jail, it's the financial repercussions that it cost you for the court. Now, Ryutia says drivers need to make good decisions before making a bad one that could change your life forever. Therefore, if you plan to drink and drive, have a plan. Either have someone pick you up or download a ride-sharing app and use it.